YouTube, it is I, Naturally Smooches, aka Mo, Momo, Moni, Monique, and Monica. <laughs> anyway, the subject today is, um, well, I watch it, well, the vocal show. I can't remember what the actual title of the show was, but apparently the father brought the mother to the show because he believes his daughter was being molested by her her new husband. Or I don't even know, maybe, I don't, I don't remember if they were married, but, um, apparently the daughter, six-year-old daughter, um, told the father that she was being molested by the, the, the stepfather. I say the stepfather, even though I can't remember if they were married or not. So, you know, they went back and forth for arguing, arguing, the mother's denying it, <coughs> the father, the stepfather's denying it. And they're saying, but the daughter told me, and the mother's like, well, she never told me that, and I'm always home with her, she's never had in my sight, and blah, 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 this, that, basically saying that she's with her daughter 24-7 and has never left him, her, alone with her stepfather. So, so obviously, they're there to prove if it, who's right, who's wrong, so they bought her there to take a lie detector and him to take a lie detector. Everybody takes their lie detector test. So, of course, the father takes the first and everything is, um, you know, he passes everything. The mother takes the test and I believe that she passes everything. And then they had the stepfather come out. Oh, he had come out. And, he, of course, he was denying and said he never touched her and that um, the issue with the, him taking a bath, uh, taking a shower with her, that happened a long time ago when she was much little and that he did it one or two times, and but it's never gone further than that and it's been who, whatever how long he hasn't done that. So, of course, when he takes the lie detector test, he um, fails it, like with flying colors. And... That mother, oh, I want to curse so much, but I don't want to curse, try to control it. Um, I wanted to get through that TV and just grab her neck and just squeeze as hard as I could. Because don't you know she was on her man's side? Like, she's got the concrete proof of a lie detector that shows that um, he molested the daughter. It, does, it didn't say it showed deception or, you know, there's other things that a lie detector shows that doesn't really say it's like majority of the test shows that they lied or not. He didn't pass anything. And she stood there and took his side. I, I, I didn't understand that. That doesn't really make sense to me. And she would say, oh, he couldn't have. I'm always home and blah, 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 and this and that. And Steve was like, wait, first you you said that you're not always home and blah, blah, blah. Because she was going back and forth saying first she was, sometimes she leaves him with her and all this stuff. She was telling bullshit. She was covering for him. Like, she was like, oh, um, lie detectors aren't always true. They're miserable in court and everything like that. But, but Steve schooled her and said that is not true. Especially the federal courts do accept the lie detector test. So the girl, the woman, um, you know, she still was fighting it and saying, no, it couldn't be, it couldn't be. And, you know, everybody's trying to convince her, why are you not, why are you, like, sticking up for this guy? It's, it's in front of your face that he's molested your six-year-old daughter and you're still going to, you're going to fight for him? It just didn't make sense. The father, you know, he's going crazy. They had to hold him back. You know, he wants to jump the guy and everything like that. And the mother just stood there fighting for him. And, you know, it brings me to a situation that happened to me. And I was seven years old, and I was molested by my stepfather, who I later found out was my stepfather there. And I really didn't know. I thought he was just like, you know, a mother's boyfriend. And then when I was in my teens, I was molested by one another boyfriend of hers. And um, with the first one, I'm not sure if she was aware of it. But the second one, she was aware of it. And when she found out, 
instead of throwing him out and doing what I thought would happen, she totally went opposite and he continued living there and everything until, um, basically I moved out when I was older. So, um, I just not understanding, I'm just not understanding why mothers would, would choose a man over their child, especially when they find out that their child has been molested and, um, it, it, it baffles me and I, and I, and I, I can't imagine the reason for it. I really, really can't. And, um, especially when it's not even hearsay and, and you know for a fact of what happened and your child tells you everything that happened and you still choose to, um, stay with the man, that, that is horrible, horrible, horrible. And, you know, with the talk with Monique coming out telling, you know, that her brother molested her and everything and him being on that, on Oprah's show, it's, it's, it's awful, it's, it's terrible, I felt no, no sadness for him, because he feels bad, and because I really don't think he felt bad, and I think he was just there to make his 15 minute of fame, um, people, you know, they talk about, oh, why do, the, why do people come out, out of the open with something like this, you know, when Oprah came out, um, Monique came out, um, R Roseanne came out, like, everybody's wondering why are they bringing it out in the open like that. When you see stars of people bringing out something so personal like that out to the public, out to millions and millions of people watching the TV, it's like therapy for them. They, to get over, to not to get over, you can never get over it, but to be able to get through it, you, you need to share it, and then when you're sharing it, you're act, actually helping someone else that may be going through the same thing. So they chosen to make it an open thing because there are so many people out there that have been molested or being molested, and they don't have a voice for them, and they're scared to come out for whatever reason it is about what's going on or went on, and there's many who, now that they're older, they still go through um, emotional, emotional, emotional things about what happened to them in the past. You never forget, never ever ever forget. You move on, but you never ever ever forget.